Did you know that every time you see a beautiful flower, there's a tiny superhero working behind the scenes to help it grow? That's right. We're talking about pollinators. These amazing creatures are responsible for helping plants make seeds and fruits. And they do it all while buzzing, flying, and sometimes even hopping around. So who are these superheroes? Let's find out. Let's talk about something called pollination. You might be wondering, what exactly is pollination? Well, it's the process that helps plants make seeds and fruit. When a pollinator, like a bee, visits a flower to drink nectar, pollen gets stuck to the bee and they accidentally carry pollen from one flower to another. This pollen helps the flower create seeds, which grow into new plants. So every time you see a fruit or vegetable, like an apple, tomato or pumpkin, it's thanks to pollination. Now that we know what pollination is, let's meet the heroes who make it happen. The bees. Bees are probably the most famous pollinators. These little guys are always on the move, collecting nectar from flowers. As they fly from flower to flower, they pick up pollen, tiny grains from the flower, and carry it to other flowers. This helps plants produce seeds and fruits, which is really important for growing food. Without bees, we wouldn't have many of the yummy foods we love, like apples, strawberries, or even chocolate. Yum! Next, let's meet another colourful pollinator, the butterfly. Butterflies may look delicate, but they're hard workers too. Like bees, they sip nectar from flowers with their long, straw-like tongues. And while they do that, they spread pollen everywhere they go. Butterflies love flowers that are bright and sweet-smelling, like milkweed and lavender. So if you want to see more butterflies, plant some of these flowers in your garden. Don't forget about the hummingbirds. These tiny, speedy birds are like nature's helicopters. They hover right in front of flowers and drink nectar, all while spreading pollen. Hummingbirds are especially great at pollinating flowers that have long, tubular shapes, like trumpet vines and morning glories. Their wings move so fast, up to 70 times per second, that they almost seem to float in the air. Okay, ready for a surprising pollinator? It's the bat! That's right, some bats are nighttime pollinators. They love to drink nectar from night-blooming flowers, like the ones that bloom at dusk. As bats fly from flower to flower, they spread pollen just like bees and butterflies, helping plants grow and produce fruit. Did you know that some of the foods we eat, like bananas and mangoes, need bats to pollinate them? And what about the beetles? They might not get as much attention, but beetles are amazing pollinators too. Beetles are attracted to flowers that smell, well, kind of stinky. But these flowers need beetles to pollinate them, and the beetles don't mind the smell at all. They're just doing their job. So how do all these pollinators work together to help plants grow? Well, when a pollinator collects nectar from a flower, they accidentally brush against the flower's pollen. Then, they fly to another flower, and the pollen gets transferred to that one. This process helps the plants create seeds and fruit, which we eat. Now, here's something really important to remember. Pollinators need our help too. We need to take care of pollinators to grow food and have flowers in our gardens. You can make a big difference by looking after pollinators. How? Well, you can plant more flowers, especially ones that are full of nectar and pollen. You can also reduce the use of harmful chemicals in your garden and make sure there are plenty of places for pollinators to rest, like tall grasses or a pile of rocks. Even small actions can help make the world a better place for our pollinators. So remember, pollinators are the heroes of our planet. Without them, we wouldn't have many of the foods we eat, and the world would be a lot less colourful. The next time you see a bee or butterfly, take a moment to say thank you. They're doing an incredible job. Thanks for joining us on this buzzing adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep exploring and keep being curious about the world around you.